Now, technically speaking, no collection would be complete in the Silver Eagles without, without our next item. And this next item is absolutely incredible, too. I, I can't say enough, but I, I love all these coins. Oh, of course. I mean, the Silver Eagles are a great series, but some of them really just jump out and grab your heart. You know, there's the Reverse Proof, the 1995W, and... Then there's this one, which this. is the technically the only error Silver Eagle that has been discovered to date. Ever. This is one of your favorite coins. It really is. When this came out, we were uh, at first a little dumbfounded and baffled, uh, and then... Pretty soon after, we were excited. We were excited. Uh, now, I remember when we first released these, yeah. and the prices where they originally came out with, and we sold uh, quite a few of them. And uh, those clients who did buy them were very excited yeah, because we had the price a, soared. From here we on had out. a number of these. What you have here is a Silver Eagle Error. It's technically a variety coin, but when these first came out, these came off the presses. We didn't know there was an error yet. We no. had a number of these certified as non. Um, reverse variety coins that were shipped out as regular prices. Exactly. A couple of months later, we uh, call those customers back, say, hey, there was an error. They look at their coins. They already had it. That's, that's incredible. Now, a few of the things that make this unique is the difference in the 2007 versus mm -hmm. the 2008 reverse of the, of the Silver Eagles. The very small changes. Very small changes. You mint created some tiny little changes, but for some reason, they didn't change it in all of the dies. Yes, yeah, so not inside. So a small percentage of these coins that were struck of these burnished coins actually had the reverse of the previous year. And that's one thing you, uh, that the Mint utilizes with doing multiple years of the same coins is traditionally only information on one side of the coin will change. Exactly. If that reverse design stays the same, there's, the date is on the obverse, then you can use that reverse planchet the next year. So that's what happened here. They came out with the 2007, printed that year, mm -hmm. came out the 2008, made some small changes. You'll see here the W. On the, um, on, the on the reverse side of the coin yep. was changed. It was changed from a serif to a sans serif font. Mm -hmm. The arrangement of the stars very slightly changed. They thought they were a little too bunched up. They spread them out a bit. And then the, li the little squiggly. And the little tilde there as well. So there's very small changes that with the naked eye, we didn't catch. Many people couldn't catch. But after many hours studying these coins, it was found out there are two separate varieties. What they did is they changed the design, but they didn't change the planchets. They used those 2007 dies on the 2008 coins. Very, uh, it's very rare. They didn't do it for long. They only did no. it for one short minting, as exactly. much as a month or so. About that. And you have these coins. Now, it is, in many ways, an error coin. It was not intended to be produced as it was released. But it's also, they call it a variety. Mm -hmm. And if you go back to some of the previous silver series, like the Morgan Dollars, there are 96 different mint marks and dates of the Morgan Dollar series. But just because there are 96 different dates, that doesn't mean that there are only 96 coins. Right, there the are, first year of issue. Exactly. There are four different issues of 1878 mm -hmm. because of all the different varieties. They're known as VAM varieties. And in the Morgan Dollar series, there are over 120 additional Morgan dollars that you can get due to these varieties. And it's based on things like one extra tail feather on an eagle, just like with the 95W Silver Eagle, mm -hmm. that little W, that tiny little mark. Like here, the tiny little changes are where you get all of your value from. Exactly. And now here is your most affordable of uh, this only error variety Silver Eagle that was ever produced. It is a 69 out of 70 grade and it's nearly flawless. It is very affordable and if you want to own this unique situation, technically your burnished die collection would not be complete without it. That's Here right. is your affordable way to go. Uh, yep, yeah, there are only three years as of right now in the burnished die collection, but there are four coins. This is the Mint State 69. This is your most affordable way. Um, check out that price. Can't be beaten. Nope. But if you're interested in the absolute top quality, it's not that much more for a 70, so no, check not. that one out as well.